Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha from RealFluencyNow.com. And today I will teach you some phrasal verbs that start with the word go. Don't forget that um, the past tense of go is went. So you will hear that in some of the sample sentences that I have. The first one is go off. This can mean to explode or make a loud noise. For example, my alarm clock is set to go off at 8 o'clock every morning. Or Hope was scared when she heard some firecrackers go off last night. It can also mean to leave, as in we are going to go off for lunch at noon. It can also mean to express anger at someone somewhat suddenly, as in he suddenly went off on her after she started false rumors about him. Or it can mean to stop working. As in, the lights went off last night at 10. The second phrasal verb for today is go over. This can mean to review or practice something. As in, you should go over new vocabulary at least once a week so you don't forget what you've learned already. Or it can mean to move into a direction like, let's go over to his house and see if he is home. The third phrasal verb that we're going to go over in this lesson is go on. This can mean to talk about what is happening, as in, what is going on at his house? There's a lot of cars parked out in front. It can also mean for something to start, as in the show will go on at nine, or to talk too much. Like, sometimes he goes on too much about cars for some people, but I love it. The fourth one is go along. This can mean for something to continue to happen, as in everything was going along fine until it started raining. It can also mean to travel someplace with someone, as in I hope he doesn't mind if I go along too. Number five is similar. It's go along with, which can mean to agree with or follow, as in, I will go along with whatever he suggests because I trust him. Number six is go by. This can mean to pass, as in, let's go by their house and see if they are home, or for time to pass. Like, I have a lot of work to do, so the time will go by fast also has two other meanings. It can mean to believe what someone says, as in, she's crazy, you can't go by what she said. Or it can be used when you want to use a different name from your real name, like, her name is Joanna, but she goes by Joe. Number seven is go with. This can mean to match or be similar to. A uh, sample sentence is, my shirt and pants are both blue. They go with each other really well. It can also mean for something to be included with something else. As in, does a drink go with a Happy Meal at McDonald's? It can also mean to choose something. As in, I think you should go with black boots to wear with those pants. Or to date. And in this case, it's kind of short for to go out with. As in, he is not going with anyone now. He just broke up with his last girlfriend. Number eight is to go out. One meaning is to stop working. Uh, sample sentence is, the power went out during the storm last night. It can also mean to leave your house and go somewhere for fun. So people could go out with their friends or family for fun or to go out on a date. A sample sentence is, I don't go out very often. It can also refer to dating over a longer time period as in they were going out for a few months before they broke up. If you would like to follow me on other social media sites, you can click over here on this link to learn where you can find me. Or you might want to sign up to get emails from me or learn about the English courses I have. Or you can stay and watch other English lessons from me here on YouTube. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.